Hi everyone, I am Pranav and today's lecture is about the nitrogen fixing system. In the nature, the nitrogen fixations occur both naturally as well as artificially. The natural nitrogen fixation involves the formation of the nitrate as well as the ammonium ion. When the nitrogen is going to convert it into the nitrate, this particular process occurs either due to the lightening or the photochemical reaction. Whereas, if the nitrogen is going to convert it into the ammonium ion, this process is termed as the biological nitrogen fixation. And the biological nitrogen fixation is only carried out by the prokaryotic organisms present in the nature. And those prokaryotic organisms which is responsible for the biological nitrogen fixation are termed as the diotrope. In the nature, the more than 90 percent natural nitrogen fixation comes under the biological nitrogen fixation. The diotrope which is the nitrogen fixing prokaryotic organism may be the U bacteria or the Archae bacteria. These bacteria may be the aerobic in nature or anaerobic in nature. These bacteria may be the photosynthetic or non photosynthetic may be the free living or the symbiotic. The nitrogen fixing system can be the symbiotic as well as the free living. If the nitrogen fixing system is symbiotic to during the symbiotic association the nitrogen fixing bacteria may form the nodule or may not form the nodule. If the nitrogen fixing bacteria is not going to form the nodule, so this condition is not very common. However, the few examples are available in this particular categories like the Anabina azoli which is a blue green algae make an symbiotic association with the azola leaf and perform the nitrogen fixation. Whereas, the nitrogen fixing bacteria forming the nodule, the nodule formation may occurs with stem as well as the root. If the nodule formation occurs in the case of the stem, it is termed as the stem nodule and where if the nodule formation occurs in the case of the root, it is known as the root nodule. The stem nodule is not a common condition. It is reported in the case of the sesmania and some other species. The root nodule is common. But the root nodule is reported in case of both leguminous as well as the non-leguminous plant. In the case of the leguminous plant, the bacterial genera which is responsible for the root nodule formation is the rhizobium. Whereas, in the case of the non-leguminous plant which is not very common, the nodule formation is mainly carried out by the bacterial species that is known as the franchia. And non-leguminous plant where the nodule formation occurs it is like the Elnus nepalensis, Myrica, Cajurina. So, these are the common example. The free living nitrogen fixing system further classified under the aerobic and anaerobic countries and which can be further classified under the photosynthetic and non photosynthetic one.